Hey, what's up guys? Um, welcome to your ninth programming tutorial. Wow, FRC, um, robotics, Java programming tutorial video, number nine. Number nine, number nine. <laughs> um, okay, this time, so last time uh, I kind of showed you a class that was already written that already comes with the um, tutorials framework. Uh, the tutorials framework repository that's online this time uh, we're actually gonna write our own subsystem so that's pretty cool um, all right anyway let's go down in here into <laughs> subsystems new class um, we're gonna call this one the ratchet um, and what's gonna happen with this one is it's gonna be this little hook right here and basically it's attached to a solenoid so it can either go out or go in there's only two positions of this solenoid um, that's why it uh, is pretty simple pretty cool to work with um, and we should finish this up pretty quickly um, and after you do this you'll know kind of the two basic actuator types there's the motor which kind of takes a set method sets how much power you want to give to it and then there's the actuator which can either be on or off um, Okay, let's get into it. Um, as I said before, um, and I'm sure you've done class design if you know like Java and all that, but so basically you have your fields, your constructor, and your methods. Um, okay, so first let's start with the uh, field. So basically, this one's really simple. The only really field that we have here is just a solenoid, so private... Um, so and here's a trick control space and then it'll come up and then it'll automatically import it so you won't have to worry about that boom import statement up at the top uh, and we'll call this just ratchet uh, actuator uh, perfect okay now we have our field it's given us a little warning because we haven't used our field yet though so let's take in an actuator let's create a constructor that will receive an actuator and assign that to our field okay so public ratchet and uh, solenoid ratchet actuator actuator um and we will, uh, all we're going to do is we're going to set the ratchet actuator, or we're going to set the class variable ratchet actuator to the ratchet actuator here. Boom. Awesome, there we go. Okay, now, um, now we have our constructor. Pretty cool. But we still haven't really done anything with the ratchet actuator yet. So, um, we're going to um, create some methods to interact with it. So the first method is just going to be pretty simple. Extend the ratchet. Public void um, extend ratchet. Doesn't take any parameters because you just call it and it's just going to go um, ratchet actuator. And normally um, you would have to check to see like which one is on and which one is off, but I kind of know the CAD model already, so I already know that ratchet actuator dot set. Same with the set method with the motor, except this one doesn't take a number, it takes a boolean. So we're just gonna set that, and I know that setting it true um, sets the actuator to being um, extended. Okay, and then uh, public void now retract ratchet no parameters is going to um, we want that to ratchet can I just, yeah control space set and we're gonna want to set that one to false awesome now that's most of the functionality but we could do a little bit better um, what if we want to know because this is a private field, right? So we can't see whether ratchet actuator is extended. So let's let's work with that a little bit. Let's so we have our um, kind of our setter methods. Now let's try our get or our get getter. I don't know what the word <laughs> getter methods. But so public void. I like to kind of phrase my getter boolean questions as like a question. So is extended 
Um, and all you do is just return it. Um, uh, and you can get from a solenoid. You don't really have to because you have this. Oh, no, you have to get from a solenoid because it's not a Boolean. It is a solenoid, so you have to ratchet actuator.get. Boom. Um, why is it mad? Oh, public boolean, my bad. Okay, there you go. Um, so that's pretty simple, right? That is, save, that is going to be your solenoid class. Alright, so next time, we are going to start interacting with our roller motors, we're going to start interacting with our ratchets, we're going to get that all set up in the robot class, and it's going to be awesome. So if you want to keep learning, learning, and I hope this was helpful, um, come back and check out that video.